This is a capacitor, which is marked in centimeters. And on the breadboard, we have the 5 volt DC to DC converter. And from the 82, there's the input, the wave gen, which inputs a sine wave. And here's a red wire from the capacitor that is connected there. And from there, it is connected to a black wire that connects to the first op amp, which is a differentiating op amp. So we'll turn that sine wave into a cosine wave. And that is connected to a second op amp, which is um, an inverting op amp. It will invert that co cosine wave. And that is wired to a rectifier connected to a one microfarad capacitor and that converts the AC signal to a DC signal. As we see on WaveGen, it looks like this. If you take the capacitor out, it goes all the way down. Let's put it about halfway. Looks like that. And then all the way in, it goes up top there. And to convert all those values into centimeters, we took we took ADC values, so we cut, we found 1 to 15 ADC values calculated as mean, standard deviation, confidence, and lower confidence. And that was just to calculate of when the sensor is at its deepest fit level. So to make uh, the putty output in centimeters, we did a linear regression. And here's the graph. And here's this equation that will convert all ADC values into centimeters. So if we look in the code, this is where it will be inputted. Then after that, we go to PuTTY. It will display all the values. So once, if the capacitor is all the way out, it will read that it is zero centimeters. But if we submerge it around halfway, around five centimeters, we'll see that it is five centimeters on putty. And then if it is completely submerged on nine centimeters, that will read around nine centimeters. And then since the web page was not working, we used the putty output instead, but if it was working, the output of the rectifier would be connected to PC0 and the microcontroller and the Wi-Fi chip would be hooked like this.